So today on Meals with Amina, Yalla Let's Eat. We're in partnership with La Cologne Coffee. Today we're going to make cinnamon buns, but here's the twist. They're pumpkin cinnamon buns, and they are going to have a coffee cream cheese glaze on top. I am so excited to try this with you. This is my first time making it. I had to read like eight recipes in order to figure out the one that I want, and I don't even know if it's gonna be the one, but it's worth a shot, especially with all y'all. So the first thing we're going to capture is our dough. And what we have to do here is we have to heat some milk. I did it about mm, a third a cup of milk right here, and it should be at 110 degrees. I will pour it into a measuring cup to show you how it's going to look. And in order for your cinnamon rolls to rise, you're going to need two and a half teaspoons of active yeast. So we're going to take two and a half teaspoons, one, two, and a half, okay, and we're going to add our hot milk to the yeast. What I am, make sure that it's not too hot, ladies and gentlemen, you don't want to be boiling because you want the yeast not to die, you want it to be activated. So you should see some bubbles coming up over here and the yeast should start to activate. All right, so I added a little bit of the milk. And then add some more milk. Okay, it's good, it's good. We got some, we got some bubbles going. All right, I'm gonna add that to our yeast. Okay. Perfect. Now, let's add our dry ingredients into our dish. Let's put this away. Cool. Now, yeah, perfect. You don't want it too hot. Okay. So, I love King Arthur flour. That is my favorite type of flour to use. So, today we're going to use King Arthur bread flour. Bread flour is really good for rising dough, dough that you want to be elevated a little bit. You don't want a flat bread. You want something like a pizza roll. So in order to get that started, we're gonna add four cups of flour. Now, a lot of people don't know how to measure out flour, and especially in baking, you should be precise. You wanna use the flat top, or even go long ways like this with your bread, so, I mean with your flour. So you're gonna go like this, and then I'm gonna make a mess, but it's okay, because we need our um, flat top actually to have some flour on it because we're gonna roll out our dough. Okay, so that's one cup. I wanna use four cups. So I'm going to add four cups of flour and you don't wanna pack in your flour. You just wanna go just like this because if you pack in your flour, you're gonna lose all the air and you wanna keep the air in so that your flour, um, your dough is fluffy. So we got this right here. Going in like so. One more. Woohoo! Woohoo! I'm so excited. All right. And the beautiful thing about this is we're actually going to have this dough sit for a little bit to rise up. Okay. That being said, so we have our flour in here. We're also going to add our sugar. I'm going to add a quarter cup of sugar. If I could find my measuring cup. Of course I can't find my measuring cup. All right, oh well, so we're gonna, don't mind me, I'm gonna do half of a half a cup. Now my sugar in there. Okay, so we have to add our melted butter to the mix. We're gonna add some salt, some salt, y'all. A teaspoon of salt, okay. I'm gonna use fine sea salt so let's do this all right even less than a teaspoon works Alrighty, and we're going to add one egg to the mix no 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 you want to bring your egg at room temperature as best as possible because ladies and gentlemen this do we have everything yep 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 okay cool this is going to get really nice you don't want anything to react with the yeast, actually. I was just, my brain was farting. Okay, ready? 
So we're just going to mix this all in. All right. And add my butter to my milk and my yeast. Okay. Alrighty. And just like that, we're going to add our wet ingredients to our dry. I like to stir in my egg first, just like this. Okay. To get it all in there. And you don't have white parts with the yellow parts. Okay. It's like, how in God's name is this not getting all nice and sweet and like moist? Okay, so we're gonna add that in there. Ah, making a mess as usual. Ooh, you can make pumpkin pie with this? Cool. Yeah, okay. So, we got the pumpkin in here. Alright. Ah, oh my god! Okay. So we're gonna add that in here like this. Don't, don't, don't judge me. Alright, we're gonna add a little bit more. You guys, I'm telling you. If these come out clutch, you can take it from me. You literally can... All natural, 100% pumpkin. Yeah, you can take it from me. You can bake. Okay. Alrighty. Yeah. Now it's coming together. Let's go all the way. Make a bowl. All right. Yay! We got that orange. Ooh. this dough rises so in about an hour we're gonna come back I don't even know how to do this we're gonna come back <laughs> if I could do this y'all could do this I don't know yeah there we go okay so I just want to show you what's up so we have it just like this you see that the bowl cleaned up because everything was picked up by the hook so we're gonna let this sit for about an hour cover it and we're gonna come back to it when it rises Roll it out, add that cinnamon sugar, and I got a surprise, some maple butter. And then we can work on our cream cheese frosting, which is also going to include some La Colombe triple shot draft latte. And I'm so excited for you to see. So our dough rested. Should have doubled up in size. Okay, we have our butter over here, which we have a red day to spread. And it's nice and soft. So that could spread onto our dough. We have our cinnamon sugar, which we added half a cup of granulated sugar, half a cup of brown sugar, and some tablespoon of cinnamon and tablespoon of pumpkin spice. And I also have a half a cup of crushed up walnuts. Now, I'm gonna take my dough from here, just like this, all right. We're going to lay it down on ooh oh hello there okay i love this dough it looks amazing all right we're going to lay it down on our floured workspace and we're just going to push it down so we got the pumpkin we got things working over here i'm very excited and i want it to be about a quarter inch thick. I'm actually going to move everything. Alrighty. I want 
my dough to have its base. Oh my god, I love it. So excited. I'm never Make sure the edges are good. All right, cool. Beautiful. Nice. All right, brush in my hand right here. I'm going to take my nice warm butter. This is maple butter as well. I'm going to brush it against my cinnamon rolls. I love butter, so yeah. All right, we can just go like this. And we want this because this is going to be the sticky agent that sticks the cinnamon and the brown sugar onto our rolls. So just like that. Beautiful. You can even pull a little bit with it. And we're ready. Okay. Alright. Now we're going to take our cinnamon sugar. And we're just gonna spread it all over. Yum. With the pumpkin spice. Woohoo! Alright. I'm gonna use all of it. Yum. I can smell the pumpkin spice latte. So, this basically is a pumpkin spice latte deconstructed, right? So, we're gonna add some more over here. Yum. I actually just want to take a picture just before we finish. Roll our cinnamon roll. So you want to just bring the flap just like that. And then we're going to roll it out on itself. So just like that. Okay. And what you want is you want to make sure there's no air in between you and the cinnamon roll amazingness. So, just like that. Ha! And I'm gonna bring it over like this. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's the cutting part. We're going to add our cinnamon rolls into this round tray. I'm gonna cut about a quarter inch around this round tray um, that has been buttered and it also has a, oh my God, we didn't add the walnuts. Wait, maybe we could just put the walnuts on top. You know why? This actually is a good thing. The walnuts better on top because the um, walnuts makes it harder to cut. So, see, look, like this is super hard to cut. So, we're just gonna go like this. Much better. There we go. So. We're going to take it and put it against our tray. So I'm going to do that again here. Oh, I'm so excited. We're just going to keep cutting. Two more. We can put it in the oven until we get a nice fluffed up cinnamon roll. So let me put these here too. Or maybe we'll put those on the side. Let me put this one and add that here. All right, y'all. So we're super excited. We have four tablespoons of icing in here. I'm gonna fluff it all up. We don't because we don't want any like curdle spots. We just want the cream cheese to incorporate nicely 
with whatever we're going to add. Now we're going to add the La Cologne coffee. Slowly. And we're going to get the mix up. Stop. Scrape. Okay. All right. Let's go. Mmm, okay. So now we have our icing which will drizzle all over the cinnamon buns when they're done. So guys, this three-part step is now.